Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get these illustrations shaded with the uh, textured brush, uh, or we could even use the airbrush. It doesn't really matter. We're going to get the, some highlights, the shadows um, on this stuff, and it's all really, really basic and simple. We're going to do the shading and some of these highlights with this textured brush. Uh, and before we get started, I'd like to show you what I did with this. Um, the good thing is when we when we did this illustration, we had everything in layers. And so we already had a uh, shadows layer. Let me turn off his shading. And we had these um, shaded areas already done. And the cool thing is we, we put them in a, their own layer. Uh, we have everything in its own layer. Uh, and that's how we created this. Uh, we have the ground in its layer. We have the bushes in its own layer. And so it was really easy to get these layers and use them as masks. And I'll show you uh, what that means. Character shading, turn it on here. Uh, you can see that I went outside of the shape, but when we use this, mask option uh, everything stays within the shape and I, and I applied that to the ball and I applied that to the bushes and to the sky as well if I didn't do it you could see where I went outside the shape Highlights. Boom. there it is all right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I am going to open up the startup um, file. And here is our startup. This is how we left it when we finished this illustration. Uh, and like I said, we already have a shadow layer where all the shadows uh, and the shading is in this one layer, except for the shading of the ball. That's in its own layer. So let's get started shading this character. And I'm gonna get started not even using the textured brush. I'm gonna just use the airbrush. Zoom in. And I'm going to create uh, a, another layer and I'm gonna call this character. shading we're going to use the shading and if I go ahead and and select the airbrush I think I can just start painting and there it is but there is no masking there is no masking we're gonna mask it let's turn off the onion skinning and then let's create a mask we're gonna get our characters to be a mask for this. So we're gonna turn on the masking option and here in the masks, we're gonna select the character as our mask. You can see how that masked that stroke. Cool. So let's go into edit mode so that I can select this, um, this stroke and then delete it. Let's go back to draw mode. And let's start drawing. So I'm in the character shading. I'd like to leave the opacity at one. And I am going to uh, bring down the strength significantly. And let's just test it out. See what see what happens. All right, I like that strength. Um, I like that strength. Let's uh, go ahead and start um, drawing in the shading. And there it is. We just started drawing the shading. I'm going to um, reduce this so that I could do this. And then I'm going to do one across like that. Uh, and I am going to continue with the arm. Oops. Maybe a little too much towards the end right there 
right there that's good the shadow the shading in here There we go. And if you need to get it darker, uh, you can go over it again. Uh, and if you need to get it wider, you can go over it again. I'm gonna reduce the strength and then just build it up. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Uh, the head um, is a little weird. The head needs a little bit more work, so we'll do the head next. Uh, we'll leave it here with a radius of, of 200, and then we're going to create some shadows along the hairline, right there. And then on the back of this neck, on his shoulder remember that head is uh, uh, casting a shadow on his shoulder right there and then here as well what I'm gonna do is I am going to go here and up just to get underneath the face there little bit here, we'll add a little bit here, we'll get the pants done, I'm going to crank up the, the brush size and the strength maybe a little bit and so I'd like to put um, a drop shadow underneath there the the shirt and then on this side remember the the light is coming from this side so here on this leg and then here on this one and I can go I can go uh, outside because I'm using the masking feature and that's basically all I did it's already looking a lot better uh, I am going to uh, load these brushes um, I did do a video on how to load those uh, special textured brushes and I will use that to do the the uh, bushes and then I will leave you to do the rest. So how did I load those brushes? You go to File, Append, you find the folder that you downloaded. I'll leave the, I'll leave the link in the description so you can download these brushes. Click on the Blender file, click on the Brush folder, and then look for these PP underscore cloud grass um, these brushes and then you can append and then you won't see anything happen but here they'll show up and so what I used um, I think I used this spray one and remember when using these brushes they go by the vertex color and so let's go ahead and, and shade one of these bushes create another layer boom there it is We'll call this bushes shading. Uh, we'll create, turn off the onion skinning, create a mask, select the bushes as our mask. That way, when we draw, the bushes are going to mask it. Cool. Undo that. Zoom in on this. I am going to crank up the radius, 
crank down the strength and let's just try it uh, remember the sun the light is coming from this way so I'm gonna need to it's a, it's a little too small let's go big go big or go home and there it is now if it's a little too strong you need to adjust the the radius of the brush and the strength of the brush so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that contour and again and that's looking really good put a little bit here put a little bit here I'm gonna do one right about here and then the little leaves that are floating up here once twice once twice and that's basically it guys um, that's all I did you can either use the airbrush this one or you can load those texture brushes and if you want a little bit of texture you can load up these textures I think I used the uh, uh, which one was it the spray brush that's the one I used but you can see how it adds a lot of depth to your illustrations uh, and so that's basically it just remember to stay organized uh, create a new layer for your shading that way you can always um, isolate it there's my shading and work on it and you can you can hide it as much as you want and then mask it with whatever now I did also the the highlights on the sky I redid these these uh, shadows underneath but basically that's all I did let me open up the a preset number two I'm not gonna save this and that's what it looks like and all you have to do is render image boom there it is and then save it save as um, save it I'm gonna cancel because I already saved it and that's basically it uh, again I had a layer for every single one of these stay organized the bush shading the sky highlights and the sky shading and the shadows shadows too right underneath the ball and underneath the character cool hey guys i hope that this has been helpful if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys